Chairwoman DeLauro, Ranking Member Granger, Chairwoman Kaptur, and Ranking Member Simpson, thank you for the opportunity to discuss this amendment and the importance of this issue this amendment addresses. My amendment, number one, would address water storage capacity issues in the state of California. We desperately need to increase water storage capacity and work to repair and restore the existing storage infrastructure we already have. The amendment would extend the storage provision of Subtitle J of the WIN Act through the end of 2023. Congress failed at extending the Subtitle J last year and let it expire at the end of 2021. The extension would allow an increase in water storage projects that could benefit the users of Central Valley Project and agriculture producers and local communities in my district uh, that my community district relies on. Although we are currently in the midst of a devastating drought in California, it is imperative we prepare for the wet years so we can uh, so we're not as bad off in the next uh, drought. It is difficult to accept that we could have done more to prevent experiencing the severity of the current drought. While we cannot prevent droughts from happening, we must act now so that we can prevent this from happening again in the future. The fertile farmlands of the Central Valley uh, of California depend on water contracted to the Central Valley Project and the State Water Project and delivered largely by way of canals. After dealing with years of drought and inadequate water storage, farmers have had to turn to pumping groundwater to protect their crops and towns uh, have been forced to pump more groundwater to meet their needs. As a result, these communities have experienced land subsidence at the expense of critical water infrastructure. In the past decade and a half, land in my district has sunk an 11 and a half feet, contributing to significant damage to the Friant Kern Canal, the Delta Mendota Canal, and the California Aqueduct. And the California Aqueduct is the water that supplies water to Southern California beyond the grapevine to where quite a few people, uh, the majority of the population actually lives. Damage caused by land subsidence has significantly re reduced the carrying capacity of these canals, which means obligations are unable to be fully met and communities are compelled to pump more groundwater. In an effort to address this issue, my amendment number one would also create a program to assist in funding the repairs to damaged canal infrastructure facilities. Unless these canals are completely restored, the issue of subsidence and resulting unnecessary water loss will continue and conditions will worsen. I appreciate the opportunity to discuss this important um, of this amendment and thank you. I urge all my colleagues to support this amendment and I yield back. 